Hello guys, welcome to another SOAP UI tutorial from rcvacademy.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about how you can create the first REST project in SOAP UI. So in previous tutorial, we have seen what SOAP is and how you can create the first SOAP project in SOAP UI. In this tutorial, we are going to see what REST is and what REST stands for and then how you can create the first REST project in SOAP UI. So as we have already seen in SOAP UI, after you launch, you'll have an option for empty project, SOAP project, and REST project, right? So this time we'll go and search for the REST, some of the REST services, right? So before we go ahead and look for what exactly, um, uh, which project we'll be working with, Let's understand what REST stands for. So REST stands for Representational State Transfer. And this is the newer version of accessing the web services. Okay, so SOAP has been there for a while, but SOAP has certain limitation and was pretty complex to use. And that uh, gave uh, the idea or uh, that gave birth to REST to answer or to address the shortcomings or the complexities that were there in SOAP uh, that have been addressed by REST. Okay, so the, it's another protocol and it does the same thing. It's used to access the web services, right? And it depends, the, ch the choice is basically, uh, so depending on the need of the organization and the need of the project that you're working on, uh, the choice is completely uh, yours. Uh, which protocol you need to use uh, in order to access the web services. So, um, so before we, you know, like go further, um, we'll I'll show you where you can uh, get most of the API. So simply go to the browser, and you have this programmable web website, right? So it has a list of all the API directories, most of the API directories, uh, and the list is pretty massive wherein you can find uh, APIs on games, videos, uh, entertainment, etc. So there are a lot of categories available. What today we'll be using is we'll be using uh, a TV maze webs, uh, TV maze API. So simply type in TV maze, and what it shows it it, it uh, this API shows information about TV listings, etc. Okay, so can simply click on it, and it uh, you can read what exactly it provides. It, it you can it provides uh, information about episodes, crew, cast, characters, etc. Okay, and this is the REST API um, portal. So you can you simply um, that's the API endpoint and that's the API homepage, okay, wherein you can find a lot of information, how you can send requests and what are the um, things that you can pass on. So simply copy this uh, endpoint, come to SOAP UI, click on this REST button here at the top or simply go to the file and new REST project, okay. Paste this location, the URI, URI stands for Universal Resource Identifier and I'll cover the details about URI later and click on OK. Okay, so now you can see you have an option, uh, the, the project got created and you have multiple um, options here in this window, the request that got opened. So you have the method which has certain drop down. So these are the methods supported by um, this uh, web service so you have you know like you can do get post put delete head options trace etc so these are all the methods available right and the endpoint of the api is the api that you have used which is uh, the tv maze api right and so in rest apis resource is the key concept and it's a fundamental concept in any restful api a resource is an object with a type, associated data, relationships to other resources, etc. Uh, it's similar to object in instance, like in object-oriented programming. The only difference is that in RESTful APIs, 
the resource has a set of specific operations that you can provide uh, that you can uh, perform like get post put delete etc so these are the operations or methods uh, there will be specific operations that uh, that you can perform on the resources provided by the uh, rest apis and parameters are the actual parameters that you will pass on um, to find the specific information within that resource or resources so for example um, you you have a service so for example this tv uh, maze web service which will return information about the shows etc so shows can be one of the resource okay so which will contain a list of all the shows that are available okay or it can be shows and then slash um, the timing of the shows right so for example at 10 uh, pm at night what are the, what are the uh, shows that are available at 10 p.m. Uh, every day so these these are some of the examples of the shows and then parameters you will pass on is for example specific um, shows you, you want to search uh, a person in uh, that particular shows or in uh, that particular resource so some of the example of resources could be like the releases so for example you are releasing multiple versions of the apis restful apis you can say uh, a release 1.0 1.2 and then within that 1.0 and 1.2 you can have multiple um, subsets as well which could be shows so 1.0 slash shows etc so let's understand by looking at some of the documentation of this TV maze. Okay, so I have opened the documentation page, which you, you can uh, come here and simply click on this API portal homepage and it will redirect you to this homepage. Okay, now here, if you go below, you can say so uh, you can um, see a lot of options available, right? So it has uh, different endpoints, it has show search. So if you see this slash search, and shows okay so this is one of the resources so slash search is one of the resource resource and um if you include both slash search slash shows is a resource okay and then the question mark and then query is equal to girls is a parameter you are passing the parameter okay so now let's see how you can use this okay so what you can do is you can simply um type in here in the resources search all right okay and then shows right so i'll just type in shows all right now in parameter just add a parameter and say it says um query and the value is girls right and that's it okay Close this and you, now you can see that it got auto populated here and as soon as you updated the resource here you can see that this is the resource tag or resource um, tag here below that uh, in, in the subtree and this is a get request because the method you have here is get if you change it to post that will change this is the the method okay in the tree and this is the actual rest request all right that will pass on with the parameters that you have defined here okay so all the information if you change in the method it gets reflected uh, in the tree hierarchy as well in the rest request right so now let's see uh, let's put this um, get request okay let's run and see what the result is right so just go to the JSON okay and you see the response has been received for this query parameter in the JSON format. So that's a brief about creating a REST project in SOAP UI and then uh, what are resources in SOAP, in uh, REST API and how you can pass on the parameters. In further tutorials, we'll dig more deeper and how you can actually go ahead and test SOAP, UI, uh, SOAP um, APIs and RESTful APIs. Thank you for watching. Please do subscribe and share. Thanks.